Be ready five second. Start. Questions of equity apart. The mode and scale of subsidizing has had two effects. One has been to induce a faster rate of growth of enrollments at this level than is otherwise likely to have taken place. In several parts of the country the fees charged for higher education have remained unchanged for decades and the rising costs have been almost wholly covered by the subsidies from government. Higher education has therefore become almost free for those who are in a position to meet the other related expenses. The other effect has been to encourage in this sphere, particularly in the last decade, a kind of entrepreneurship with little commitment to the goals of higher education. Where the rate of subsidy is high, and the rest of the expenditure can be almost wholly covered by fees collected from students, a college can be started and run with very little exertion on the part of the sponsors. In Delhi, 95% percent of the excess expenditure of a college on all approved items over its income from fees is met by the University Grants Commission. The sponsoring body, whether it is a private agency, or a local authority needs therefore to cover only a very small fraction of the total expenditure on running a college. Naturally there is no dearth of entrepreneurs for starting colleges with an eye on the patronage and influence they can exercise through their control over them. Though the extent of subsidy is not as high elsewhere the position is not very different in several other parts of the country where liberal grants in aid are given by state governments to colleges. The main qualification required of the promoters of higher education under these conditions is only that they have the contacts for securing the necessary financial and other support from the powers that be. Where the rate of subsidy is not so high some adjustments are called for. These are usually made in the fees charged from students and in the teacher-student ratios maintained. 
Thus, the annual fee for undergraduate education ranges all the way from less than 100 rupees per student the colleges in Rajasthan to well over 300 rupees per student in Bombay. The average number of students assigned to a teacher also varies from as low as 12 in some areas to more than twice that figure in others. This subsidy has to be discontinued. Stop.